that devil is a liar. Hallelujah. How many of you are having a setback right now, but you're getting happy about it? Because I see possibility. I see something on the horizon. I see God about to do something. I see God about to work it out. Y'all ain't got to say nothing, but I see something in the spirit. I see somebody that's been bad. That's been your setback, but you about to get free this morning. Go on and give God a shout. Hello, friends of mine. God bless you and welcome to Time of Decision. I'm so glad that you are here today because I know God's got something for you. I am Pastor Clement Lupton from beloved St. John Evangelistic Church, sending along a God bless you to you and to your family today. Listen, I know there is a word from God for you today with your name on it. So come on, let's join the service. It's already in progress. A setback, it is a delay. It's a slowing down. You're heading straight to your goal and then all of a sudden there is a delay in progress. There is a slowing down. There is a checking of your progress. Leaves you to ask why is this happening? Some of us get so when we have setbacks, we say, I don't deserve this. I live to save life. I've walked up right before God. And look at what has happened to me. First thing I want to tell you, you've got to get your eyes off of you. Because that devil will have you having a pity party about yourself. How did I end up in a mess like this? Where did this come from? You know what a setback is? A setback is a stumbling block. Setback is an obstacle. That's why I told you what Paul said. He said, before you start rationalizing anything about what you're going through, you need to first know who you are. And then secondly, you must know who God is and what God has done for you. So Paul says in Philippians 1, before I start talking about the chains that I'm in, he said, I am convinced that he that hath begun this work in me. Now, how many of you know that God has begun something in you. He says that God is working and he will continue working. See, that word began, he who began, it means God is developing something. I wonder this morning in the church, is there anybody here that God is developing something in you? It's, it hasn't come to fruition yet, but it's like a baby of potential that's inside of me. God is developing it. And you've got to understand that while God is developing, the enemy is attacking. So while God is developing and the enemy is attacking, there you are in the middle. So if God is developing and if the enemy is attacking, there's some things that you've got to know. Because how many of you know when you know some things? There's nothing that the enemy can do to talk you out of what you know. Now, I didn't say what you think. I said what you know. I know that God is real. I know that God is a way maker. Anybody know that? I know that God is able. I know that I am the head and not the tail. 
I know that he has taken me from the bottom and put me on the top. I know that I once was bound, but now I'm free. I know that I have joy unspeakable, full of glory in the Holy Ghost. I know in who I believe. Uh, tell your neighbor you got to know some things. You, you've got to know some things so that when you have stumbling blocks and when you have obstacles and when you have setbacks, you've got to go back in the recess of your spirit and the default in your mind and go and get something that God has already done and bring it to the forefront. Uh, tell somebody I'm having a setback. I'm having a setback, but I'm going to go and get where God brought me from. And I'm going to bring it up to 2013. And I'm going to put my hand on my hip and say, devil, you can't make me doubt him. I can't get no help here. I'm going to go back and get the time when I thought I was going to lose my mind. And then I found him to be a heart fixer and a mind regulator. I can't get no help here. I'm going to go back to the time when I got so sick that the doctor said, you can't get better. But I found him to be Jehovah, Rapha, the Lord, my healer. Do I have a witness here this morning? Tell somebody it's a setback. It's a setback. And let me tell you all something. All of us have setbacks. Anybody here ever had a setback? Anybody? All of us have had setbacks. The best of us. Are you hearing me, somebody? I mean, we read the patriarchs, patriarchs in the word of God, but they had setbacks. Amen, somebody. Abraham had setbacks. You remember when they got to looking at Sarah and how beautiful she was. Abraham, who's the father of faith, got scared and said, I see the Pharaoh checking you out, but tell him you ain't my wife. Tell him you my sister. Are you hearing me, somebody? It was a setback for Abraham. Isaac had said, Jacob had how about Joseph, the great dreamer? But his brothers got jealous of him. Got mad at him. Because he dreamed that uh, the stock, that they would be obeying him. That's how they interpreted his dream. And they said, oh, you think we're going to bow down and obey you? You know you tripping. They said, we got something for you. And they took Joseph and put him in the pit. Are you hearing me, somebody? Tell somebody it was a setback. But the setback set him up. I can't get no help. I'll get back to it. I ain't finished, ready to go there yet. But all of the great patriots had set Moses. As great as Moses is, Moses had a setback. God said, speak to the rock. And I'll command the water to come forth. But the folk made Moses mad. And Moses was the meekest man. How you make Moses mad? He's the meekest man on the earth. And Moses says, y'all stiff-necked rebels, i tell you the truth. Good God from glory. And he smote the rock. God said, that's a setback. Because I ain't tell you to smite the, smite the rock. I told you to speak. To the rock caused him to not be able to go into the promised land are you hearing me somebody the best of us have setbacks amen somebody uh, but 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 <laughs> someone said you know what pastor i prayed and i talked to god and i asked him to bless me 
and I asked him to come and to do this and God didn't do it the way you thought that he would do it and now you feel like you're having to say some setbacks are your own fault but somebody holler move on pastor move on some of us have had setbacks with people because instead of putting your faith in God, you put your faith in folk. And I'm going to tell you, people with the best intention, they can't hold your weight. Amen. I always say this to our married couples. Wives, thank God for your husbands. And husband, thank God for your wife. But don't put too much pressure on your wife or on your husband. Because there's some needs we have only God can fix. Now you're looking for another wife. You're looking for another husband. Because you depended on that person to carry you. But there's some luggage, some baggage you have that can nobody carry it but God. So now you're in life feeling like you've had a setback because you've been dropped. Some of us are like Mephibosheth. Can I take my time? And... Like Mephibosheth. You remember when David said, is there anybody from the house of Saul that we can do benevolence to? And one of the servants said, yes, Saul has a grandson and his name is Mephibosheth. And David said, well, where is he? They said, well, he is, uh, he is down there in Lodabar. And uh, Lodabar is a desolate and barren place. And Mephibosheth is there because when he was about five years old and they were trying to escape with their lives, the nurse grabbed Mephibosheth and dropped him. And the Bible said he became lame on his feet. <laughs> Let me just make a point while I'm there. Because you can have so many setbacks that if you're not careful, you'll end up lame on your feet. Meaning you're on your feet, but you're lame. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, somebody holler move on, Pastor, because I was talking about lame people in the Bible study the other night. I know I don't have no lame people here this morning. Somebody holler move on, Pastor, move on. Because Mephibosheth became lame, meaning that he always needed somebody to carry him because he was not able to do it for himself. And how many of you know when you really know God and you walk with God, instead of somebody needing to carry you, you're able to carry Instead of you always needing somebody to pray for me, pray for me. And every Sunday you're at the prayer line needing prayer. God will do something for you. And instead of you needing prayer, you're able to say, I'm ready to pray for somebody else. Do I have a witness here this morning? Somebody holler glory to God. Tell your neighbor, setbacks, setbacks, setbacks. Some of us have setbacks. Not only have we been dropped in life and it set us back. But some of us have invested. We have invested money and invested in the wrong things and with the wrong people and have lost money. And it became a setback in our lives. And I want to be deliberate about this because the enemy can get in your setback. And he can magnify it to a point that it gets in your mind and gets in your spirit and leave you feeling like you ain't never going to rise above this. But tell your neighbor, it ain't nothing but a setback. It ain't nothing but. So if it's a setback, there are some things that you need to understand about the setback. Are you hearing me, somebody? Somebody. 